In the race to develop robots that are smarter and faster, a test of sorts, pitting 12,000 runners beside 21 humanoids along a 13-mile course billed as the world's first half-marathon starring machines. Tiangong finished in two hours, 40 minutes, after three battery changes and one fall. The CEO says it's not about winning, it's about testing the batteries, which are the core technology here. We met Tiangong before the race in a demonstration of what the company calls embodied intelligence that plants smarter AI into a more durable body with legs that function like human limbs over varied terrain. Next generations can look more lifelike with silicone skin, hair, and facial expressions. What's your name? The idea for humanoids to do jobs ranging from manufacturing and home repairs to companionship and caring for the elderly. There's been a huge push behind humanoid robots in China. Videos of them dancing, performing, or doing kung fu have gone viral on social media here. China's government and state media promoting the industry as the next big thing, like the campaign behind Chinese electric vehicles. In this race, only six of the 21 competing robots survived, proving perhaps that people haven't completely lost to technology quite yet.